recorded Black Earth Tiger over the gloomy months of January and February 2007 in Seattle, Washington. It was a perfect time to stay indoors and work on a masterpiece six days a week, 13 to 14 hours a day. Working with Terry Date on the record was fucking amazing because it was one of those situations where we were sitting on the bus on Warp Tour just tossing out names of producers we'd like to work with and someone was like, wouldn't it be awesome if we could work with Terry Date? And then everything panned out. Um, he's an amazing engineer with an incredible ear and a great producer. My favorite part was just like, as a songwriter, there'd be parts of the songs that I wasn't sure of but didn't want to speak up about because I was just, I don't know, I just was indifferent or didn't know. And then we'd go over the songs and Terry would just be like, you know, what about that bridge in that song? Don't you think that sucks a little bit? And I'd have to be like, yeah, I guess it, you know, it does. And we'd just hash it out until he was like, that was cool. I like what you did and we'd lay it down. The funny thing about the song Cottonmouth was when we were demoing it in our studio in Louisville, Kentucky, the demos were pretty bad. We weren't really sure what we were going to do with it. And we took the idea into Terry Date, and we were working on it in the studio, and it just it just came alive. It ended up being one of our favorite songs off the record, and I guess the first single, too. Lyrically, the song is about kind of taking advantage of someone, just taking them, whether you want it or not, just to take them. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a thing. It's kind of for interpretation. A lot of the songs on Black Earth Tiger have kind of an end of the world theme uh, in the lyrics. I guess I guess all the lyrics are pretty cryptic. It can be the end of the world or the in, end of an era or a life or a relationship. It's kind of however you want to take it. And also there's usually a, a meaning behind all that which I really intended if you wanted to pick up on it. This song is one of the heaviest songs on the record and I think it's one of the band's favorites. Behind all the all the talk of the end of the world and everything, I'm, I'm talking about bands that write shit songs to get a success on Fuse or MTV or radio, whatever it is. Yeah, I think it's cheap. I think bands use borrowed themes today. I think that there's a lack of originality. Uh, I guess that's just how I feel about it. And the song's about bands that hold themselves out. And it's called Cenotaph. On soundtrack to a head rush, we used a lot of tried and true songwriting methods and kind of stuck to our genre as much as we could. And on Black Earth Tiger, we wanted to really branch out from there. And we dipped a bit into 90s alternative and experimental music and indie rock music. We just wanted to kind of have some growth. I mean, our taste in music has changed, just like I'm sure everyone else has in the past few years. This song, I think, shows that more than any other song. This song is about jealousy and... There's a personal story in it, and there's room for interpretation. You take it for what you want to. The title comes from Chinese astrology, and this song is called Year of the Pig. Thanks for listening to me talk about the new record, Black Earth Tiger. And I will see you, you mates over there in the UK here real soon on tour in October. So come out and check us out and pick up the new record when it comes out. Take care.